Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the NECA Toys, the Ultimate Alien Hunter Predator. This would be the Spiked Tail Predator. The Spiked Tail Predator has all new additional articulation with removable mask, shuriken, and arm cannon. This is a continued look at the Kenner-themed or Kenner-inspired NECA Predator figures. It does have a warning choking hazard, some small parts, so not recommend for ages three below. And then on the back of the package, the other figures available, there are the, uh, there's the Ghost Predator, the Stalker Predator that we've already had a look at, and of course, Spiked Tail Predator. The reader, the read up says the leader of the rogue space tribe, Spiked Tail is an ally is allied with the armored, lost, and laser shot predators. Spiked Tail's unorthodox hunting methods and use of illegal weapons cause the exile of his team from Yuja Prime. Using stolen time space technology, the space tribe can travel much further into the galaxy than most Yuja. This has allowed them to advance past hunting organic beings. They find non-organic mechanical beings to be more challenging prey and have modified their gear accordingly. Spiked Tail's age is assumed to be considerable, thus many suspect that the robotic trophies he claims for ornamentation are actually physical enhancements necessary to keep him capable condition. In addition to hunting robotic life, a mysterious, Yuja, a mysterious rival Yuja, the pirate called uh, Arzor, uh, has threatened several space tribe missions and thus he has also become a target. To check out more from the folks over at NECA Toys, head over to www.necaonline.com. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, though, we're going to better look at the ultimate alien hunter predator, the spiked tail predator. There's more anyway. Don't go anywhere. The accessories to come included with spiked tail predator... He comes with a painted variation to the classic Predator Shuriken. Now adorned in more a slight gold copper color with accents there of silver, it looks very, very nice. Uh, it is, again, still very fragile, so be very careful with these as they are thinner plastic, but still uh, certainly a very impressive piece to be displaying with them. Moving out to the side, he also comes with a spiked tail or like a little tail section here that can be added to. It's kind of more like a slashing tool. Uh, this section here has, it's a little, it, it is adjustable. Um, it has like a ball joint here and uh, this section here kind of moves back and forth as well. But there's a little hole socket right on the side of his gauntlet and you can just simply attach this. Sometimes the gauntlet does move around on you when you're trying to do that, but just kind of wiggle this into place. Uh, hold on, that's, there we go. Just might be easier if I hold it, hold his forearm. There we go. And uh, that's how it looks. And again, like this, this part here does have a little bit of motion and movement to it. There's not really a lot holding it in place other than that little small peg. So sometimes, sometimes it may pop out on you. Then the other thing that he comes with, of course, is a removable mask, which has a slight bug-like or almost technological bug look to it. Very, very cool. And almost in the same way that uh, with a Stalker Predator, I'd be probably more inclined to display him with this rather than the default of his face. Let's look at the, uh, you know what? We'll look at the face in a second. I'm just gonna take this off because I know it's gonna fall off on me. Let's, uh, we'll start at the top, we'll work our way down, we'll look at the back of him as well, because there's a lot going on behind also. Now, this Predator, as you can clearly see, is much more adorned with uh, technology and more enhancements to his armor. He also kind of reminds me of a Predator version of uh, a Morton Joe, actually, from the recent uh, Mad Max Fury Road. Uh, it looks like he's got a breathing or breathing apparatus that's been added to his mouth that runs around to the back and pegs in or attaches itself to the back portion here, which I think looks to be more or less 
less a shoulder cannon and more like a breathing respirator or breathing enhancing device. By the way as well, you can take the same clip here, uh, the little plug on the back of the spiked tail here or the little slashing uh, tool and we can just add that to the back there as well. So it keeps it out of the way if you don't want to display it on his arm. Uh, the coloring on him is primarily the kind of this gold color. It, the, in fact, the only area where he has a similar color to the shuriken is in his hand and at the bottom of his hair. And it's this glorious braided, long braided tail of hair coming down to a spite, which is, I guess, more primarily the spiked tail end of it and rather not this little slashing thing that we were looking at earlier. So I guess I don't know how this would work. Maybe if he, I guess spike tail is not even so much more so uh, a weapon of choice, but actually just more so a, a name he has inherited by just the description of his hair, the very long tail-like dreads coming down to a spiked bottom. Hence, spike tail. Uh, but yeah, the gold looks nice on him. It's a little, it's a little too... Not pristine, but it's a little too stark for my liking. Um, I wish that there was a, maybe a little bit more just kind of wear to it or a little darker wash areas to it so it wasn't just so primarily uh, this gold color. I like this gold, actually, this copper color more so. But I think everything kind of comes together nicely, especially when you incorporate the helmet. And the mask or helmet just clamps over top of it exactly the same way as the other... NECA, uh, the NECA Kenner figures, there's really nothing plugging into place as much as it is you're just forcing it and it's kind of just securely fit in place by, by friction. Uh, a little bit of the breathing apparatus on his face still shows through on the underside of his mask, but primarily this is going to be how I'm going to be displaying the figure. Looks great. I love the that same copper color making up the majority of his face mask or face helmet there. I don't know if I would say that this is my favorite from the line. In fact, we put him here for a second. He's a little top heavy, I think, just because of all the other stuff that we added to him. But if we bring in the previous looked at Stalker Predator, even though I'm not crazy on glow in the dark aspects of, of adding it to toys, I do think I like the Stalker Predator more than I like the Spiked Tail Predator. I think just I think it just has a little bit more of a well-rounded look to it, where this has a busy look to it. You know, I think I did actually have Spiked Tail Predator when I was younger. I definitely know I did not have him if there was uh, a actual true Stalker Predator, but uh, I do know or do feel as if I actually did have this guy initially in my collection. Just lots of going on here. It looks like he's also got pistons. I don't know if this is keeping his legs up. Because it looks like it would... I don't know if they're like clamps or they're... Maybe they're... I don't know. I guess they're just armor. But it almost looks as if it, it's something that's helping him function. Even the same as he's got pistons also on the armor on the sides of his legs. Maybe a lot of this just allows him to continue to move and function. I will say this though, it's an interesting, though busy, it's an interesting looking design. We'll just remove this for the time being. I know I'd, I shouldn't have called this the spike tail, but we'll just move that to the side for the time being as we have a look at all of his posability. For starters, the head is on a ball joint, but as you could probably suspect it, the spiked tail hair does only go so far before it butts up to the side of this and you can't really move any further past that point. I for a second kept thinking that this was going to be wireframed. Oh, and maybe it actually is. Just looking on the underside here. I've actually not tried bending it. Oh, there are holes on the underside. Oh, clever. Okay, so we can actually bend the tail or the hair. Not to, the, to that extreme, but at least you have the means to bend the hair. I just assumed it actually was just one piece of plastic. You couldn't bend it, but look at me. Now we all learn something. So the tail does bend. That's that's a nice touch. I like that. The shoulders hinge out. It seems like the shoulder plates do a pretty good job of staying out of the way. Forward and back motion. He has a swivel also at the top bicep portion of his arm. 
double bend at the elbow and via the ball joint that the hands are attached to, the hands also have a forward and back and back and forth motion. The upper torso does have a ball joint. It's actually ball jointed right at where the gold plate stops. There's a ball joint there. And then he's got a secondary ball joint that goes into the socket portion of his waist. A forward and back motion on the legs. And on the motion on the legs, a swivel at the top portion of the thigh. He has a double hinge on the knee. And despite how busy his feet are, he still has a ball joint in the feet portion as well. Um, I don't know if I would say, even like look at the top, I want to say like the top 10 predators I've looked at on this channel. I don't know if I would say I would put spike tail anywhere in that top 10. Stalker, yes. Stalker is a glorious spectacle of plastic. This is equally cool, but it has a lot of stuff going on. It's a little too busy for my liking. The helmet on top of his head is really my choice rather than having the helmet completely off. I don't know if I would say I like this overall presentation of a Predator, but I respect that NECA would have done all of this. There's a lot going on on this figure. Let me know down below though what you guys think of this figure. Do you like this guy or do you like maybe the Stalker Predator that we already had a look at more so? In the meantime, today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Spiked Tail, i.e. the Spiked Tail Hair, Spiked Tail Predator. Stay tuned guys, Spot's gonna have more Toy Spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.